Hey guys, look for here and welcome to another FIFA 19 video and this guys is a bit of a serious one. We have done ourselves a base icon upgrade and to finish off the Christmas festivities and all that kind of stuff, we're going to open one of these and hopefully we're going to get ourselves a very um, awesome usable icon. Now interestingly, base icons are no longer in packs for FIFA 20. A lot of people thought that we might have seen the, um, the middle tier icon SBC come out like around Christmas time but I'm guessing it's going to be maybe be like around team of the year or something like that and of course later on today at 6 p.m. the second batch of icon swaps are going to be released hopefully the leaks are going to be wrong because if the leaks are true then icon swaps looks pretty average you know like a good two like as much as I want a good two so like we want better players to like actually have so I'm hoping that the, the leaks are going to be wrong and EA going to give us like Kakars, R9s and stuff like that but probably not but are we going to get something good in this base icon pack if we get a Brazilian flag we're looking pretty good if we get something like an English flag um that could be bad. French flag could be pretty decent, I suppose, with like Zidane, Desai, and stuff like that. If I actually get Desai or someone like a Lolon Blanc or someone like that, that's going to be fantastic because I've actually got a tradable uh, Desai currently in the uh, club, which uh, goes for quite a few uh, hundreds of thousands of coins, which is pretty awesome. So if you guys have also done the Icon SBC, let me know who you were able to get. I'm actually going to quickly sort out my team here because I did put in, you know, as a YouTube reviewer, I put in a lot of different cards into this SBC, as you can see. Some of the cards that I put into, I'm never going to use Play of the Month Tiago Silva, apart from like putting them into a review squad. You know, if I was running like my normal account and I wasn't doing YouTube, I wouldn't have really done many of these SBCs. Uh, I obviously kept some players like Lewandowski, Benzema, uh, cards that I'm actually to go into use in the future and stuff like that and um, that obloc i got for free in a two-player goal pack which was obviously pretty good and allison does go into that team i was just quickly doing a bit of a um a squad battles thing let's get Verratti quickly back in they're going to open up the little two packs and then we'll finish off of course on the icon pack i should have probably done this beforehand but i forgot to ah oh, damn it i still had an 88 cavani in the club Okay, that's a bit of a silly error by me there. I submitted the 89 Fortmus one, and I just realized I had the 88 one in my club. That is a bit silly. What other special cards do I have in the club? We've still got quite a few. Uh, you know, obviously cards like Corona, keeping them in. Uh, Icardi, who somehow hasn't had an inform this FIFA. I know I kind of got sidetracked a bit so far, but I still kept lots of them, like uh, Herodeki, Walcott's flashback card, which is pretty awesome, Chamberlain's uh, card, Jesus Navas, and stuff like that. But we're going to start off by opening the little, like, two-player packs that you get. Maybe we might get lucky in those, and obviously finish off in that big boy base icon pack so we'll start off on the uh, two players pack so um i mean realistically like getting a maradona would be fantastic an r9 or a pelle would be amazing but i'm gonna try and be realistic um i mean some of the lower tier cards that i wouldn't mind i suppose i'm looking now Laurent blanc wouldn't be too bad the 85 cards um of course we can't even get the I was thinking I could get the centre back Laurent Blanc, but that's for the middle tier card, isn't it? Which is a bit of a shame. Gattuso's 85 card wouldn't be the end of the world because it actually fit perfectly into my team. Got cards like John Barnes there, who I'd also probably take as well, being obviously an ex uh, Liverpool player. Roberto Carlos, who was, of course, an icon swaps. Um, yeah, so there's a few even decent lower tier cards as well. A Kaka would be pretty awesome. But it doesn't look like we're going to get anything in these two-player packs. As you'd expect, you wouldn't get one. Just imagine if we got like an icon on one of these or something like that. That would be uh, pretty sick. Um, nothing in that one either. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a video tonight around the new icon swaps. Maybe me re uh, reacting live to them. I might do. I'm not too sure. Um, but I already have done like two-player reviews today. And doing this one, it's going to be three videos in one day, which is quite a lot of content already for you guys and we do finish um again with just a regular standard goal card and now we got the base icon pack uh, i got a munio in that one okay so three cards that i want the most let's have a look quickly through the list so r9 number one maradona number two and pele number three i pretty much picked the biggest three players to be quite honest but um if we get like a desi a patrick vieira a rude hullet um even like a Perlo 88 would be pretty awesome. You see, you a Croy for Ronaldinho. Oh, a Grincha. Come on, EA. Here we go. Oh, my God. What kind of flag are we going to get? Please see Brazilian flag. Please. Come on. Okay, what are we going to get? The first time I've technically backed an icon this FIFA. Italian. Ooh. Left back. Is that Maldini? You know what? That's a pretty good pack. I am well happy with that. That is a fantastic pull. I'm using him at centre-back. 100%. 
I might actually use him at centre back and sell Desai now and get like the 700,000 coins that he goes for. That's a fantastic play. When I saw Italian, we could have had Filippo and Zaghi, which would have been awful. We could have had. I mean, Zola would be pretty decent, to be fair. We could have had a Vieri. That wouldn't have been so good. We could have had a Baresi, which would have been a bit meh. Uh, a Perlo. We actually probably got maybe the best Italian icon. Maybe apart from someone like Adele Piero, who's obviously pretty sick as well. Um, I'd say this guy's probably even better than Baggio as like an Italian icon. That is fantastic. Paolo Maldini's 88-rated card. Listen, he's a left-back, but he's a left-back that is very versatile. He can play, obviously, as a centre-back. It's a young Paolo Maldini, of course, who goes for... About 400,000 coins. Now, the SBC pack to technically craft this pack, if you were to spend it all on coins, is around about 350,000 coins at the moment. So, technically, I've made 100k profit on that. But at the same time, the only squad that I actually had to pay for was the 84 squad. All the other squads I did literally for free. So, technically, I've got this Paolo Maldini card, in a sense, for like 30,000 coins, which is absolutely insane. And I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do, though, with my main team. Now, this is the thing. I kind of want to ask you guys what would be the best thing to do. Right now, um, I've used Martini in the past in previous FIFAs as a centre-back, and he played well there. Obviously, I think you can get him to 7 chemistry as well, if I just do this now. I kind of like Desai, though, so much. We can obviously ever do that. Obviously, that would... No, um, Di Maria would actually stay on good chem. If I was to put him... Let me just quickly do this a second. He gets 6 chem. And if he has played the 10 games, he would go to 7 chem. That's a fair shout, man. I am really tempted to play him. I want to know what you guys would do. What would you guys do? Would you play him as a, uh, would you play Maldini as a left back and keep Desai as a centre back? Or I do this. Tagliafico, good left back in the game. And I use Paolo Maldini on eventually 7 chemistry. And I take the 800,000 coins for Desai, which is going to help me to hopefully even more afford this team of the year, Trent Alexander Arnold, if he is included in there, which I think he will be. I think that's what I'm going to go for. But that is an insane pull. I'm very, very happy with that. I know it's been a bit of like a longer video. Um, but obviously, you know, listen, it's happy days. I'm definitely happy with that pack, considering it could have been an 85 in Zarki or something like that, which would have been really bad. I think for the Italian icons, the base ones, I've definitely got one of the top three best ones. I'd say probably the two ones are probably Del Piero and uh, Baggio or Perlo. But I'm um, very happy with that. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.